Hi, I'm Simon, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town. Sometimes customers ask me how they can migrate their site-to-site -site VPN from a virtual private gateway to a transit gateway. I tell them the transit gateway allows you to attach VPCs, direct connect gateways, and VPNs for interconnectivity. I'll show you how you can modify your existing site-to-site -site VPNs target from a virtual gateway to a transit gateway. Let's get started. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to VPC Console. In the navigation panel on the left, go to Transit Gateway. Choose Create Transit Gateway. From here, you can give your Transit Gateway a name and description. I'll name mine TGW1. If you plan on migrating a dynamic VPN, you must add your BGP ASN number here. Keep this the same as your previous site-to-site -site VPN AS number so that you can avoid reconfiguring your customer gateway. Make sure you enabled auto accept shared attachments to enable automatic acceptance of cross-account attachments. Choose Create Transit Gateway and click Close. Now we need to attach your newly created Transit Gateway to your VPC. Go to Transit Gateway Attachments in the Navigation Panel and then select Create Transit Gateway Attachment. From the drop-down menu for Transit Gateway ID, you can select your recently created Transit Gateway. Keep your attachment type as VPC and provide a name tag for your attachment. I'll name mine VPC1 Attachment. From the VPC ID drop-down, you can select the VPC you want to attach it to the Transit Gateway, and then select the subnets you want the Transit Gateway ENIs to reside. Choose Create Attachment, and then Close. You've now successfully created your Transit Gateway and attached it to your VPC. And now to migrate your existing site-to-site -site VPN away from the Virtual Private Gateway to your new Transit Gateway. If you're using a static VPN, the first step is to remove the static routes from the VPN itself. In the navigation pane, choose Site-to-Site -site VPN Connection. Highlight your VPN and then select Static Routes from the navigation pane. Select Edit and remove the existing routes. It's best practice to keep a copy of these routes because you'll be adding them to the Transit Gateway later. Choose Save and then Close to commit your changes and return to the Site-to-Site -site pane. Now you'll modify your VPN target. Your VPN should still be highlighted so you can navigate to Actions, Modify VPN Connection. Under Change Target, choose the drop-down menu next to the target type and then select Transit Gateway. Under the drop-down menu for Target Transit Gateway ID, locate and select Transit Gateway. Save your changes. Choose Close. You return to the site to site pane. Now you'll see your transit gateway is referenced in your VPN details and your VPN state is set to modifying. This takes a few moments to update. When the state of your VPN shows available, you can navigate to the transit gateway attachments in the navigation pane. Now you'll see your VPN as an attachment to your transit gateway. You can name your attachment here by editing the name field. I will name mine VPN1 attachment. The routes that you previously removed from the VPN can now be added to the Transit Gateway. Navigate to the Transit Gateway route table pane. Make sure that your Transit Gateway is highlighted and then select Routes. Choose Create Routes. Under CIDR, add the IP range of your on-premise network. Select the drop-down menu under Choose Attachments and then select your VPN. Select Create Routes. Choose Close and return to Transit Gateway route table's navigation pane. Don't be surprised if your root state is black hole, as the process of modifying your target drops the tunnel briefly. Make sure that you're sending interesting traffic from the customer gateway to re-establish the VPN. When the tunnel is re-established, the root state changes to active. Now we'll edit the routes within the VPC and point them to the transit gateway. If you're propagating routes, this step is unnecessary. Select root tables in the navigation panel. Highlight your root table, then in the routes tab, select edit routes. Select the routes for the VPN and then choose the target drop-down menu. Under the target drop-down menu, remove the virtual gateway, choose Transit Gateway and then select your Transit Gateway. Choose Save Routes and then Close. You've now successfully migrated your VPN from a virtual private gateway to a Transit Gateway. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.